So continuing our look at the genre guide, now we're up to mathematical concepts and techniques. And this section, more than any other section, is um, controversial. Some teachers, sorry, think that you shouldn't do it. Some teachers really swear by it. So why do I think you should do it? Put simply, I think it's a really easy way for you to demonstrate this point on your ISMG. Identifying mathematical concepts and techniques. Now, if your teacher says this section is a waste of time, great, fantastic. I've seen lots of 20 out of 20 PSMTs that do not have this section. But a follow-up question you want to ask your teacher is, how can I, without this section, hit this dot point? and ask them to clarify that, ask them how they'll be marking that dot point to give you an idea. Once you've got that, go forth. Okay, if you are using this, um, this part of the genre guide though, uh, in this section, you're gonna identify the mathematical concepts and techniques that you've learned. So, good idea, get your syllabus out, look at unit three, and look at what dot points you're planning to hit, and then start talking about those dot points and how they relate to this specific problem that your uh, PSMT is on. What you're doing is taking the general mathematical concept and technique and accurately translating it to the specific problem that you're trying to solve. Of course, the old subject report um, talks about how teachers should make those judgments and they're looking for the breadth and depth of the student's comprehension, the student's understanding of how the general concepts that you've learnt are applied to this specific mathematical model or representation. And I think having a section like this allows you to do that. There's another reason I really like this section because I think it's a golden opportunity for you to demonstrate your technical and procedural vocabulary. Of course, you want to do that because that's part of the ISMG. That's how you'll be marked on your technical and procedural vocabulary. If you dive into the syllabus documents, you can find out definitions for technical vocabulary and procedural vocabulary. Um, and they give some examples there. I think of these things as technical vocabulary being mathematical nouns and procedural vocabulary being mathematical verbs. And if you take a look at their procedural vocabulary definition, calculate, convert, determine, identify, justify, show, sketch, solve, state, these are all verbs, they're all doing words. If you take a look at their technical vocabulary, it's all nouns, it's all things. So, if you were to get together with a group of your friends and sit down with your textbook with the topics that you've been covering and look for technical vocabulary and procedural vocabulary and put it into your PSMT, so maybe you do a big brainstorm and you come up with 50 words and you go, great, these are all going to be in my PSMT. Now, you'll know if you've done a good job if at the end of your PSMT, uh, a friend of yours can hit Control F, search for the word calculate, and it'll pop up, or calculated, perhaps. Search for the word integrate or integration or whatever it might be, and it pops up somewhere. So, coming up with a list of words and then making sure that you're using those words in your assignment by using the old Control F, Good idea. It's usually at this stage of the video when I say, and here's some exemplars of like fantastic student work. I'm not doing this this time because one, because this section is sort of controversial, it's never really appeared in a subject report. And also this dot point, accurate translation of all aspects of the problem, when it has been discussed in a subject report, it's usually as part of a holistic approach to marking it. Uh, a teacher is supposed to look at the entire assignment and determine whether a student has done this or not. So, controversial section, put it in there, don't put it in there. I've made my case, you decide.